Alright, how's everybody doing today? Alright, we're just gonna have one more moment here to set up here. So. Alright, so welcome. This is my second live stream. Um, and today we're going to be making a nice vending machine. So, as we can see here, we are going to be making this cool animation. So, it's fairly simple geometry here, just boxes and cubes. Or, um, it's just cubes and cylinders here. So, we're going to be making this. So not too complex. The output is really cool though. And I think we're gonna have a great time doing it. So let's get started. And we are gonna use the default cube here. So that's good. I don't know why people always get upset because the default cube is deleted. It's kind of a joke, but... So we're going to scale this up here and just get the general shape down. Then hit tab and go into face edit mode here. And then add some loop cuts and put them over to this side and this will make the nice little sill. Then select these faces here. And before I forget, let's tab out and hit control A and apply the scale. So now when we tab back in, there we go. So now when we scale it, when we extrude it there and then scale it down, it's not having any weird scaling problems. Scale it more. There we go. And then let's just scale it in a tiny bit on the x-axis there. So it's a little more symmetrical. And then control B to bevel. And just give it a very slight bevel. And add that touch of realism. There. Now let's go into edge select. And select these outer edges here. And we're just rough drafting here for the basic shape of the vending machine. Hit Control B and go into front view by tapping. Oh, let's just hit Y there. And then Control B to bevel just a tiny bit so that we get that nice edge. And that's why we only did a small bevel on that one. So let's add a couple more vertices there. There we go nice smooth edge and now we can start working on the front panel here let's add a couple edge loops oh hang on sorry we have to add the edge loops first there we go so just add a few here because we're gonna need them later like that just make a nice little grid there and then we come over here and add the bevels. There we go. I forgot when you bevel it, it turns it into a poly instead of a quad. Oh, that. Nope. Also, I apologize. My computer is being weird right now. It doesn't really like doing this very much I can see why but there we go now we have the nice faces so let's go to the front view here and just select 
let's go to face select and select all of these there we go and then let's inset them a little bit like so and then inset one more time and this time let's pull it out a tiny bit like that that'll give it a nice little edge there and inset again ever so slightly and then extrude back like that so this will give us a nice shell to work with so now we can go to tab and then add another cube here scale this up and then scale it on the Z axis by pressing S and then Z there we go and now you could just go and edge select and then cut that but I'm also going to do it with hard ops here so hard ops and box cutter are very nice tools I highly recommend them they're not required but they just make life so much easier there we go so now now that we've got this we can tab in there let's apply these booleans here there we go so we just cut that there so now let's cut another hole right here and this is going to be the dispensing area for the soda like that and what else are we going to add oh let's start working on the trays here so let's add a cube scale it down this will be the arm that eventually will go and grab the coin, the uh, the soda. Just position it however you want. Scale it up on the x-axis, like so, and then move it over a little bit, like that. And what you can also do is you can s inset this face here, like that and then move it down by extruding it there so that'll give some depth there and then you can just go ahead and move this face over like that and you don't have to worry about all the details down here um, it's all going to be hidden later so there And now let's just add a little bit of detail on this one so that we can make it look pretty and also give it a depth of realism just just a touch there we go and then you extrude it in like that tab control a and apply scale And then S, X, move it that way a little bit. There we go. So S, X, scale it there. And tab, select this face. There we go. Tab. Let's also select this face and move it over. There we go. So now we have the bottom tray here. And we're just going to copy it. And then rotate it along the Y axis 90 degrees by pressing R90. RY90. And then move it up here. There we go. So now we have our X and our Y control. Let's scale that down a little bit and scale it straight up like that. 
There we go. Make that. So now we have our X and our Y gantry, whatever it's called. I think it's called gantry. And this we will, we, yeah, sorry. <clears throat> and this we will be end up, we will end up animating later on. So we're just going to keyframe it here into its initial position. There. There. It's also important to control A and apply scale to everything so that we don't have any issues later on. There we go. So now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and get a soda can. And I did not actually model the soda can. So if you can go if you go to preferences and then go to blender kit, you can do this and then it gives you a very nice um it gives you a very nice online directory of a whole bunch of different things that you can add. And a lot of it is Creative Commons license. Um, some of it you have to pay for. But we're just going to find one. I forget what it was called. There we go. There we go. I like this one because it's Blender. <laughs> so we're going to add that to our scene just by clicking it. And then hide that there. There we go. There is our soda. Why did that scale up as well? I don't know. There we go. So there's our soda can. Now we're going to get this to the right scale by putting it in here and seeing what the scale is going to come out to be. Let's give all of this a material as well so that we're not blinded. And control L, link materials. There. Just a basic material. Let's put that back there. There we go. So scale it down, scale it up however it works until it fits nicely there. So that is our deposit. And then there we go. So let's just leave that there for now. And we're going to get a we're going to get in a cylinder. There we go. Scale it down and move it over to here. And this is going to be the door that swings out of the way so we can get our soda. There. And let's just put that there. Hit tab. And then inset this face. And then extrude it straight down. Okay. There we go, and then Control S Z, scale it up on the Z axis. There we go, and then have it cover that. Very nice. Now we're also going to use hard ops again here, or um, box cutter, sorry, and we're just going to delete that. There we go. So now we just have this nice face here, and if we Control C or um, uh, if we press GZ, we can then animate that to reveal the soda. And we're just going to give this a simple glass shader, like that. And then I'm going to come here, give that a metallic, and we'll work with the shading later. I'm just trying to make it easier on my eyes. So if we move these back, G, Y, just a little bit, we can then add some glass here. Scale that down on the Y axis. There we go. 
and then move it over. Scale it down some more. Scale it up on the X and the Z. And then just try to position it into place here. There we go. It's good. And make sure it's not sticking out the front here. And it's not, we're good. And then give this a different glass material. And this will be no roughness. And now we're going to hide this for now. We'll just leave that there as a reference. And we'll bring that back later. So now what we want to do is we want to take that soda can. And we want to copy it. And control C, control V. And put one up there. Now, I'm actually going to scale this down on the x-axis here and then move it over. So make it a little bit thinner there. Yeah, that's better. So now we're going to take this can and we're just going to model something around it here. So add a cube, bring it up, scale it down. And what this is going to be is it's kind of cheating, but I'm going to make this be the platform that it's going to be on. And this will also help later on, and you'll see why when we can tile everything. So there, control A and apply scale, tab, and then add some loop cuts. There we go. Now select these two edge faces here, that one and that one, and extrude it up just a tiny bit and scale it down. Now that's going to scale it in inward, so we want to do that just a tiny bit, and then go to individual origins and scale it on each origin there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to extrude it straight up, and that will be good. Now take this face and this face and extrude them inward like so and scale them down. Perfect. So these will be sort of the brackets that that hold the soda in place. So let's move the soda here so that it is on the bracket like that. Perfect. There we go. So now it's going to seem weird for, at first, but we're going to control J and join it. Tab and press L. Let's just make that as a new material. Base color something. There, and assign that. So now we have this. We can come back to this later. But for now, I'm going to hard ops and sharpen. Go here, select these faces, and then bevel it. Just a tiny bit. And I only want the edges. There we go. So just the edges here. Bevel. Just a nice one there so that it looks a little smoother. And then sharpen again. All right, and it doesn't really matter what it looks like because we're all we're just gonna make it so small you're not even gonna notice. So there. All right, so now we're gonna go here and add a array modifier. And we're going to duplicate it a couple times, like that. Go there <clears throat> and move it around, like so. Um, let's do that. 
there. All right, and then we'll fill this gap later. So now we're going to add another array modifier and do this one on the Y axis, like that, and slightly on the Z axis, like that. And duplicate that a few times. So now all we need to do is one more array modifier and do this one going down. Like that. And we can get one more row in there, yes. So there we go. Soda rack full of soda. So now we just need to put a cube blocking this section. And to be honest, it doesn't really matter how you do this as long as it looks decent from afar. Because it's all going to be through glass and it's all going to be really small. And I know that sounds stupid saying it, but it's kind of true. You don't really need to do much for this. Like that. There. And now we can just copy it and move it down. And one more time. There we go. So now that we have that there, we can just edit this a tiny bit and move it back like so there and now let's just select these boxes here and make them all the same color sorry my computer is lagging um, it does not like running Blender and live streaming, so I apologize. So let's just go here and select the material we've already done. That's our glass. Let's do this one. And then Control L to link materials like that. There we go. So now if we change this to a darker tone or a lighter tone, let's do a bit lighter there. Make it plasticky. Add some, take the roughness down a tiny bit, and what do I want to do? Ah, sorry, my thing is not liking me right now. All right, we'll leave it at that for now. So now let's bring back that, there we go. And let's also just label these. I always forget to do this. There. Always, always, always label when you're working and not have to go back. And then let's just select these and merge them. Con Control J is that going to do it? Control J. There we go. 
So now that's all one piece. And these are another piece. So let's go here and select which soda we're going to take out. And we're going to take this one, I guess. Or hang on. So we need to apply all the modifiers first. So apply all. And what that's going to do is it's going to make this all actual geometry now. So let's just select this one and press L. And then shift L. And L again. There we go. Now if we press P, we can remove that from the selection. So now this is its own object, and then these are another object. So that allows us to animate this one. So let's do the same for the ones behind it here. So we can make those pull forward while this one is dispensed. So like that. that and like that there we go and then P remove separate all right so now we can animate this one separately then we can animate these separately so all we need to do now is animate the rest of it so f before we get into the animation stuff we're gonna make this a little bit prettier and then add a coin because <clears throat> that's kind of the focal point of this render. So I'm going to be using a add-on called Decal Machine. So I'm just going to press D here. Not in that mode. D. And add some decals here. I highly recommend Decal Machine, although it can be expensive. Where are all my decals? Nothing's wanting to load right now. My computer is absolutely maxed out. Great. Um, great. Come on. Well, that is one of the ones I was going to use. So let's put that there. And add another one. Hey, they loaded. All right. So let's go over here and put a couple on the face of this. Let's do some screws. Now, vending machines never just use normal screws, so we're going to use these special screws here. Put one up here, and scale it down a bit, and copy it. There, and then copy that. There. And for some reason, when you copy it, it copies the object it was on. So you're going to have to delete that as well, annoyingly. But there we go. So now we've got those. Let's just take these two down to here, like so. And now we've got the screws. And then we're going to add the key here. So the special key lock that you need to get into a vending machine. I think they have one very similar. Yeah, here we go. This one. So let's scale it down like that. Perfect. So now when we look at it, it looks like it's got some of the hardware that would be necessary for a vending machine. There we go. Perfect. So now we're going to add a keypad. Like that. 
and I'm also going to use a, another decal or another um, add-on called Mesh Machine. And what this is going to allow me to do is actually import. It's going to allow me to import mesh here, so like that. And then I'm just going to take that there and press Y and plug it in, or not. There we go. Y plug. Why is nothing working today? I am so sorry. Literally, it worked 10 minutes ago. Tab. All right, let's add some loop cuts here. Or use the knife tool and add some geometry for it to work from. There we go. Let's just do that. So now, if I do Y, Y plug, still won't do it. Great. S, Y, This is kind of frustrating. It literally worked 10 minutes ago. Well, let's just do that. There. And then add a coin slot. There. Scale it down to the size of the coin, like that. And it's still not liking it. All right, well, we're just not going to do that. There. <clears throat> so we're just going to do this the other way by adding a Boolean. I was trying to get around that, but oh well there and like that okay so just a basic boolean and let's apply it press tab and bevel like there um sharpen it try to get rid of this Literally none of this was happening an hour ago. There. And there. All right, well, let's go back. Add a Boolean. All right. All right. Well, let's just yeah, let's just move on from here. Um what I was trying to do was get a couple booleans in and it should look very nice if I can get out of this. And nothing's working right now. I'm sorry. There we go. 
So it should look like this with this nice cut here for the cash and then a nice cut here for the coin. But it's not wanting to do that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> let's add a copy of this. And put it over here and scale it down. And the reason I copied it is because that's already the right shape. And it's already cut. So let's move it to there. Scale it up like that. There we go. And let's parent it to the arm here. Control P to object. So now this is going to move wherever this moves and we can start the animation process. Um, what else do I want to do though? I think that's all for now. Let's get rid of this artifact here. There we go. So, let's start with the camera. Move it out. And I don't think I'm going to get to the coin right now um, for time reasons. That was quite a bit of keyframing. So let's just get a nice angle here. Like that. Control Alt 0. Snap it to view. Move it back. Get it positioned like that. So now let's just add something here it's looking a little blank. There we go. The Blender logo. And on the side as well, because why not? There we go. Alright, so now what we're going to do... Why is it... How oh, my thing is stuck. Okay. There we go. So now we can take this and animate it. So we're going to have it go up to there. And this is our soda that we're going to be vending here. So that went up and we're going to keyframe it. And then this we can keyframe to start there and then move over to here like that there we go so now if we watch that through that looks good and then we're going to keyframe this to fall into the bin. Like that. GX and GZ. There we go. So it fell into the bin there. And let's keyframe it. Let's watch that through. And I like that, but I don't like that. I think it needs to be a little bit more of a tumble there. So, interpolation mode. Let's do bounce. Nope. Elastic. Nope. Okay, let's just turn it back to linear. So, let's just add some more keyframes then. 
we'll do a bit of a rotation here. And then it'll go. So it rotates. And then we want it to clunk back. Okay, and let's speed it up a little bit, move these closer. Okay, and then let's rotate. Like that. There we go. All right, and now it's going to move over. So let's keyframe this to go over. Then keyframe this to go over to there. It's going to rotate a bit on impact. So like that. So we need to find out when this starts. Oh, well, I didn't keyframe it. That's why. So there to 80, and then that goes there. All right. To 64, and it will still be here. Okay, and let's just put it there. Perfect. Now we're going to animate this to come down after that. And all the way back down to its starting position. There. A little bit longer of a delay there. Okay. And then we want this to be animated with it. So let's bring it down like that. And then all right about here, we want it to rotate like that, and then start sliding out that way. There we go. Okay, let's animate that a little bit higher right there. There we go. It's all about keyframing. So then right about there, we want it to drop. A little bit farther back there. Yep. We want it to drop and then disappear into the basket. Okay, let's watch that again. Um, should be lower there. 
There we go. There we go. Okay. I like that. Alrighty. Analyze that keyframe there. There we go. So now it's going to disappear into there. And we're just going to get rid of this altogether by moving it back. And animator secret, it just disappears. So now we've got this one here that we're going to keyframe to appear. We're going to have it appear from here. And the reason I'm doing that is just to make it a little bit simpler. Um, so I don't have to just wiggle it around until it's nicely perfect. So now, because I'd have to move that all around and that would be annoying. So now that goes there. And then this comes down. Perfect. And now we can move the shroud here. And move it down. Perfect. Let's make that a little bit longer. And there's a vending machine. And also, let's animate this here so that when that comes out, these move forward. So G. G. Y. And G. Z. Let's try to keep these right about where the other ones are. There we go. And keyframe it. So now if we watch that. Perfect. It just adds that little extra bit of realism. I am really bummed about that. I don't know what is going on, but that's not really the point of this tutorial. So now, now that we've done a ton of keyframing, we can work on the shading. So click this. This, let's just work on the box here for now. Now select all of this area. So all of these side panels here and the back, although we won't see it. Go to materials here and, and click new. Click plus and then new and then assign material. 
So what that's going to do is it's going to make this a separate material from the actual body or from the front of the um, front of the vending machine. So now we can make this whatever we want, and I'm going to make it an orange metal. So we'll make it nice and metallic there, like that. And for the front panel, we're going to go here and make it sort of a purpley. Like that. Also, we're going to hit Q and sharpen this so that we get the nice soft edges and hard corners. Let's go ahead and do it like that. And that is also a hard ops thing. So let's tab, select all these inside faces, and we're, we'll work on lighting in a moment. But in order to do so, we are going to take the face here. Well, let's just add a material here and assign it there and make this one that black like that or you know what let's make it a white because why not just a grayish white and then take these and we're gonna inset this not individually we're gonna inset them combined will it allow me to do that go inset non-individual there we go so if we select this edge and this edge we can assign a new material and make that an emissive emission shader there we go so now that's going to be our light for this scene Sign it there. Let's turn on all these settings here, and this will make it look quite a bit better. There. And we're going to be rendering this in cycles anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I can't turn on cycles right now. So. And that's also the glass. Let's turn back the glass here. Let's turn that on and see how this is looking. I say that looks pretty good. I think it needs to have a bit more light in here. So, tab and inset this and select these two and assign that the emissive as well and that's already much better and let's select this object and this object and assign the metal to both of them like that and we want this to be sort of a shiny metal There we go. All right, so now I also want there to be a light on this bar here because that gives a cool effect. So I apologize for the weird angle here, but we're going to assign this that same emissive. There we go. So what that's going to do is it's going to shine a light whenever it drives, whenever it um, rolls past it. And we're going to do the same on this. We're going to take this and move it up. Take that, move it up. Then 
assign this the emissive, then inset and extrude straight down, and assign all of these that material. Okay. We're actually going to assign that a completely different material. And we're going to make this that same purple metal. Where did I say that? There we go. We're going to make that the purple. And let's take these faces here. bevel them just a little bit. Well, let's just do E, S, like that. And there we go. That way we don't get any weird geometry problems. There we go. So now let's look at this in so clean. Alright, and I don't like how this is just black here, so we're going to assign this the orange, like that, and let's hide some of this. Well, let's put the glass on and see how that looks. All right, let's hide it again. And we're just going to cover up some of these problems here by adding, or cover up some of the less detailed parts, at least, by just adding another mesh, cube, and just blocking this area off. And I mean, that's not as if it wasn't a real part. I mean, you could just say, oh, that's the cooling area, the refrigerator part. Not everything has to be perfectly detailed. <clears throat> so there we go. Make sure it looks like it's actually reasonable. sure we're not crossing mesh there. All right, and assign this a black. There we go. So now we've got that. We've got it animated. And we're pretty much done. So comment down below what you thought of the tutorial. I will be posting the render. I'm probably going to render this other version here um, that has actually worked on that. <laughs> um, but comment down below what you thought of the tutorial. Um, I'm going to be posting more of these every Sunday. So yeah, tell me what you thought, um, how it went.